Travel Wise with Phil Blizzard. News, views, and interviews. Hello, I'm Phil Blizzard in Dubai with the second edition of the Travel Wise podcast, focusing on what's happening across the Middle East and beyond in terms of travel, tourism, and aviation. We'll be starting off with the main coronavirus news, looking at airlines, hotels. We've got uh, an interview with uh, a colleague down in Thailand, and we'll be taking a look at events. But let's start off with the latest news. Travel Wise News. Well, the biggest news, I suppose, really is the United States and uh, President Trump banning flights into the US from uh, Europe's Schengen visa, first of all, and then adding a few days later flights from the UK and Ireland, and that ban expected to last 30 days. It's evolving, it's an evolving situation, so uh, if you're planning of going to the United States, do check with your airline and travel agent on, on the current situation. Uh, moving to Europe, much of Europe is in shutdown with bans on travel, public gathering events and more, notably in Italy, Spain and France. The UK seems to be differing somewhat and in those countries mentioned, uh, bans changing day by day of course. Uh, aviation in uh, Europe having a tough time like most uh, uh, aviation uh, operators across the world. In Europe, Swiss Air, 50% of the fleet grounded, likewise for Air France and KLM. Uh, BA, big reduction in uh, capacity and uh, one of the biggest low-cost carriers in Europe, EasyJet. Well, it looks like it's going to be a bit of a tough time for them with uh, reports that the majority of their fleet could well be grounded. Uh, Regionally, Beirut International Airport will be closed from uh, Wednesday until the end of the month. Um, Lebanese citizens, relatives and diplomats will be allowed to enter Lebanon um, if they carry a health certificate proving they are not infected by the coronavirus, according to a government spokesperson. People arriving from other countries and regions that have been previously banned will not be allowed to enter Lebanon at all. Those countries, long list, so uh, France, Egypt, Syria, Iraq, Germany, Spain. Basically, if you're thinking of going to Lebanon, again, check with uh, where you've been and uh, what the situation is for you to enter the country. Uh, Airline news next, taking a look at uh, Emirates Airline and Etihad here in the UAE. Travel wise news regarding Emirates flights from Dubai to the US via both Milan and Athens, as well as to Fort Lauderdale, um, <clears throat> will have been cancelled. Uh, commencement will be in April. At the moment, it will be in April. So check with Emirates regarding that. Keep an eye on the current uh, situation regarding flights. Uh, Emirates will also ca- cancel flights from uh, to all Italian destinations, of, of course. Plus. Porto in Portugal, Lanaco in Cyprus and Malta and Emirates are also uh, uh, going east of uh, the UAE, rerouting some of their flights to Pakistan. So again, check, check, check. Now regarding tickets, um, allowing the airline is allowing, like most airlines, uh, some flexibility. Emirates are allowing one free change to any flight across the entire network if uh, the booking has been made before the 31st of March. Regarding uh, Etihad, uh, let's have a look at what they've been doing. They're suspending flights, of course, to uh, Milan and Rome. Flights in Italy being suspended there. And next, hotel news. Travel-wise news. Well, let's have a look at Rotana, one of the leading hotel management companies in this region with hotels across the Middle East, Africa, Eastern Europe and Turkey. They've announced they'll be taking over the Damak, this is in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, they're taking over the uh, Damak Towers Arjan uh, by Rotana, it's a full title, in Riyadh. Uh, they did that, in fact, on March 15th, with the property set to open in early April. The announcement follows the partnership signed between the company and Damak Hotels and Resorts last year. The hotel will have, well, it's a twin tower hotel. It will feature 448 luxury rooms and is the company's seventh property in the kingdom. So uh, some good news there in terms of hospitality. Uh, Airbnb, on a global basis, have announced that it's letting uh, guests from around the world cancel their reservations for a full refund and uh, no cancellation fees there. Um, some news we had last week, Imar Hotels in Dubai. Several of their hotels will be not taking uh, bookings for rooms, their restaurants and some of the facilities to stay open. Uh, some good news from uh, people wanting to stay in the region. We'll have a look at some staycations a little bit later on. Um, but if, uh, Okay, so we'll do that. If you're thinking of travelling further afield, if you're thinking of going to Thailand, we'll have... Um, we're going to be catching up with Richard Jackson from Surf FM in Hua Hin, which is two hours drive south of Bangkok, to find out how things are looking there. That's coming your way next. Travel Wise with Phil Blizzard. News, views, and interviews. On the programme today, talking to Richard Jackson in Hua Hin in Thailand, a couple of hours south of Bangkok. So, Richard, um, 
obviously a big impact with so few people travelling at the moment. Ha has it affected hiking? I would say severely, actually. Really? Yes, there's been a huge drop in the number of Chinese visitors. Obviously, yeah. um, you know, the Chinese market was growing and has been for the past few years as the Chinese are able to travel more and have a little more money in their pocket. Sure. Um, and now, um, I think hotel bookings have dropped quite a bit this month. And then next month, April, April and May is the time I think they're all dreading, actually. I know at least one five-star hotel down the road told me that they're down to 15% occupancy next month. 15. And that means that 15, one five. So, you know, that is well below their costs. They're going to be losing money. So... I would expect to see some businesses closed and one or two hotels really struggling. And then on the other side, for people who are prepared to travel and fancy uh, a holiday in Hua Hin, there might be some good offers because hotels will be wanting to grab whatever they can, I suppose. I believe, and yes. You, you can get really good packages now, many of the five-star hotels. In fact, nearly all the hotels are absolutely desperate to invite uh, tourists. So now is a great time to get a bargain. Yeah. And in fact, the uh, coronavirus... You know, it's not that bad in Thailand. Um, we've had a few cases. Uh, it's up to around 59 or 60 at the moment, officially. It may well be a little more than that. But certainly most people are going about their daily life quite normally. Just obviously the usual hand washing thing or wearing oh, yeah. a mask if you've got a bit of a cold. So and you're, that's you're, it. You're, but you're feeling quite happy yourself, are you? Yeah, so far, so good, and we're you know down here in the middle of nowhere. So now, I was in yeah. Bangkok at the end of January, right at the start, really, of when uh, the coronavirus sort of hit the headlines, and uh, you're up into Bangkok quite often. So how is Bangkok? Is that quiet at the moment? Well, I was up in Bangkok last week. I'm fairly busy on the streets, but again, you know, bookings are down generally. And that's going to remain the case for some time. So, uh, well, message really, wash your hands. You keep safe and your team, Daniel Poirin, and uh, we'll try Thank and link you. up again in the not too distant future to see how things are progressing from a tourism perspective in Poirin and Thailand. So, Richard Jackson, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Pleasure from 35 degrees here in Hua Hin. Take care, Phil. <laughs> all right, all the best. Thanks. Travel Wise with Phil Blizzard. News, views, and interviews. Talking there with Richard Jackson from Surf FM in Hua Hin. Now, staycation, some good news here. Um, some I've spotted here in the UAE in Dubai. Delta Hotels by Marriott, uh, Jamira Beach, uh, are offering staycations from uh, 275 dirhams. That's room rates. Um, the offer is available until the end of September, includes a 20% discount at the hotels, bars, and restaurants. If the bars are open, that is including their Brazilian restaurant, which serves you an all-you-can-eat traditional Carrizo barbecue. So that's uh, Delta Hotels by the uh, Marriott, Jamira Beach. Uh, further details on www.marriott.com. And another staycation which has caught my eye down on Palm Jamira. It's the Hotel Dukes de Palm, offering a seasonal room rate until the end of September, 429 dirhams. So if you fancy that, uh, use the code on direct bookings UAE2020. Rates include late checkout until 2 p.m. It's not too late, is it? And 25% uh, discount on room rates. That's uh, a staycation offering uh, Dukes de Palm on Palm Jamira. Coming away next, we're taking a look at the events. Travel wise news. Well, travel and tourism, AHIC, the Arabian Hotel Investment Conference, now taking place in September. It should have been happening in April. The AHIC in Dubai, September the 21st to the 22nd. And the Arabian travel market, again, an event from uh, was scheduled for April, has been put back, been postponed to uh, June, June the 28th to July the 1st. The Dubai World Cup horse race. Scheduled for Saturday, March the 28th, is going ahead, but it will be behind closed doors. So, there we are. I'm Phil Blizzard with the uh, weekly podcast, Travel Wise, produced by Phil Blizzard Media Productions. If you want to get in touch with me, uh, you can do so by email on philblizzardmedia.com. No, sorry, philblizzardmedia at gmail.com. Okay, and uh, to finish off, uh, sporting news. Uh, Bahrain and Vietnamese and Chinese Grand Prix F1 racing postponed. The Dutch Grand Prix May the 3rd and the following weekend uh, Spanish Grand Prix in Barcelona is still scheduled to go ahead. And if you're into running, the big London Marathon has been postponed as well. We're keeping you updated with a weekly podcast, Travel Wise. I'm Phil Blizzard. Travel Wise with Phil Blizzard. News, views and interviews.